Recording initiated. Here it is. The universe. We can observe it now, every day, thousands of light years away from Earth. It is so massive, and yet so petty. Full of action, yet so quiet. I want you to understand why I accepted the post of this ship's captain, instead of getting a tan on a Malibu beach. We're now flying on the very edge of our known universe. We're approaching the last black hole that's endangering the very survival of mankind and planet Earth. How ironic. For many generations, we've been considering the possibility of mankind facing an asteroid that would wipe out life on the planet as it did with the dinosaurs. Or if a nuclear war would do it. A war would solve many problems in just one short epic moment, though. Need to worry. Today's technology is very sophisticated. The Earth can face any asteroid. The chance of a successful deflection is 100%. The probability of a nuclear war is 1%. Your concerns are irrelevant to this mission, Captain Jetson. Don't interrupt me. Don't you care what these black holes really are? They could be hiding unbelievably big secrets. If I may, I would like to mention that you are evidently forgetting what black holes truly are. Allow me to show you this Wikipedia article explaining it. A black hole is a region in space-time from which gravity prevents anything, including light, from escape. Escaping! I know the definition of a black hole, thank you very much. It frightens me. I'm terrified of every single black hole we close. I evaluated your mental condition. These feelings are common during every suicidal mission, sir. Oriel, why didn't you say zero percent for a nuclear war? I mean, I'd bet no war would break out on Earth these days. As you surely know, I am an artificial intelligence. Thus, I am not completely stupid. You just placed a bet on mankind, and thus on stupidity itself. I even included the human factor of failure, one percent. Even the president's bad mood is included in my statistics. Our president is in a bad mood. You never know. Every president may be in a bad mood. Specifically, Mondays are critical. Ugh. Damn Mondays. Oriel, tell someone I need coffee. Crew, this is Jetson, the captain of the ship Endera. We've got work to do. You all know what your job is. The atomic neutral particle collector is active, Captain. Positive. All set. The isotopic field indicator is also active and running, sir. Positive. Negative waves equalizer active. Positive. Ignition regulator running. Positive. Proton arc day of blah roar. Damn it! Negative. Ha! You haven't learned it yet, have you? No, I'm just trying to pronounce it properly. Negative. Oh, come on! That wasn't it! You stupid computer, you know what's working. The green light is on. Negative. You bloody negative! Look, I didn't ask for this component! She does it all on purpose! She knows exactly what I want to say! Negative. Well? Ah! Proton arch step no no radio transmitter connected! Huh, positive. She's enjoying it. Well done, we're ready. I'm still missing my coffee though. Oriel, where's my coffee? I will find out. I ordered it for you three minutes and twenty seconds ago, sir. Let's make this clear now. When I tell you to make coffee, I assume you'll bring it at once. That is your purpose here. Or should I constantly remind you of your success in the testing laboratory? I cannot wait for you to leave. I mean, to get your distinction. Captain, your coffee is on its way. Thank you, Oriel. Please tell the coffee guy to come to the bridge. Also, tell me the ship's location. We are currently in the constellation of Lyra. The black hole marked 16 is situated at the coordinates F9GH8RT1. What a moron. The mission designers had to be desperate to include you in the crew. Seriously, you're bringing me spilled coffee. This is ridiculous. What, what was your name again? Wow, 
Why am I even asking? It's, it's right there on your name tag. All right, listen up, guys. We've done 15 black holes so far. All of them were huge, strong, and covered with a magnetic field. Oh, no. This speech again. They were all trying to do one thing. Endanger and destroy our beloved Mother Earth. Erase our whole civilization. And what have we done? We have closed them once and for all! No matter what happens, we managed to do what Einstein thought was impossible. Today, this whole thing ends, and we will return to Earth as heroes! Yo! Ha! So what? I love his speeches. Attention, please. This is an emergency. Gravity field disrupted. This isn't Oriel, it's the emergency system. Wait a minute, we have one? What's going on? Scanning surroundings, investigating situation. Oh no, that's too soon. Black Hole 16 is growing bigger. Within the last minute, the event horizon has approached critical distance. That's true. We should engage reverse gear. Mother of God, all of a sudden, all indicators are at maximum. All control systems to full power. Focus. Skelly, get us out of reach. I would love to, Captain, but the ship isn't responding to my commands. This can't be happening. I will not let you abandon this mission. Our goal is to close the black hole. Attention, please. This is an emergency. Propulsion unit damage, level critical. Well, that's not too bad. We could have lost a wing. Attention, please. This is an emergency. Wings damage level critical. All right, all right, I'll shut up. <sighs> According to my deductive capabilities, I'd say that some of these red lights indicate that everything's broken. Captain, if the stars are beginning to disappear. We've lost control over the ship. What about the escape modules? Too late for that if we've already crossed the event horizon. The modules don't have enough power to save us. There's only one logical explanation that is absolutely legitimate and only true in this kind of situation. Are we really flying into a black hole? Uriel, abort mission immediately! Negative, Jetson. I proceed according to the protocols. Yeah, but I didn't think according to protocols you'd like to die! This is the end! We're dead! We're gonna die in here! And what about pressing this rescue button? No! It's too far away! Yeah, so in that case, you're right! We're dead! Can't we just eject ourselves? I shouldn't have to explain to you how weird that sounds, but if you want, pressure chamber's at the back. Good, perfect. See ya. Everyone else, get prepared to enter the black hole! You won't experience this every day! Prepare to die like heroes! More like zeros. Oriel, you should have listened to me. I am the ship's captain. Fortunately, I do know about the suck protocol. Jetson, do not do that! Everything is under my control. I will get us out of here. Captain Jetson, you engaged the suck protocol. You may avoid the mission goals by several means. One, full backup of the aggregate unit. Two, full backup of the ship's systems. Three, manual activation necessary. Jetson, let me do my job. I can handle it. The last thing I need is my crew dying under your control. Get yourself together. I am the captain, and I am telling you that this mission is over! Status update. Full backup, ready. Backup of ship systems, ready. Manual activation, necessary. You heard the damn thing. Manual activation, necessary. Find that button! I don't know which button does what! There are thousands of buttons! It's got to be one of these! I can save you! You'll be lost without me! What are you saying, Oriel? I am losing you. System restart initiated. Locking the core. Loading the operating system to an LPDA. Presumable condition. Breakdown. Memory reconstruction. Positive. Rescue anti spaghettification code to prevent death in a black hole active. Who did that? It was Smusa. He was smashing all the buttons like crazy. I told him to stop and he was all like, We're gonna die in here. Ah! Still smashing all the buttons. Great job, Smusa. Wait, what? Seriously? I wanted to calm you down. We're still expecting a heavy landing. We don't know what's about to happen. Brace yourselves! Okay. Oh. All I wanted to do was drink my coffee and go to bed. Great combination, sir. Impact in five. 
four. Just wanted to let you know I didn't jump out because the pressure chamber is missing. Three. Hey, you guys want to hear a joke? I heard this one on the radio. Two. So there's this guy. One.
surface, and I found a rather high level of gravity here. The chance that you wouldn't kill yourself was really negligible. So negligible that if you put a bet on it, you'd be a millionaire. What a shame this isn't a lottery. survivors. Poor Selassie. He was so young. No. Hold on. <gasps> That's just a part of his spacesuit. Good. That, though, does not eliminate the possibility of him being dead. This is a black box. One of many. They will help me remember what really happened and why the black hole sucked us in. What about just falling onto this big platform? You could get the last self burn back there this way. Let me show you. You can die, not me. So, why don't you try it? protocols, I'll allow myself to say, pretty cool, huh? So we are safe, relatively, but the Andera crew don't have such a luxury. If they did survive, they are in danger. What do you say? I realize it's hard for you, being a hero all of a sudden. Usually you just make coffee. But focus now. I trust you. Ha! Huh, water! We found water! So you won't die of thirst! Oh no, this is not good. This is no drinking water. So the situation remains unchanged. Sooner or later you will die of thirst. The local gravity works differently than on Earth. If you manage to bounce off the bottom properly, the water will lift you up. Try it!
spoil the fun. Also slide down walls. Great way of slowing down your freefall. I can save you and teleport you before death, but I'd still prefer if you learned how to get around. Don't be afraid of looking for other ways of getting around. If it seems impossible to get somewhere, look for gravity platforms. It's like a puzzle. lost myself a bit. You don't think I was talking to you, do you? I'm playing battleships here with myself. I have many virtual friends, just so you know. Do you have any friends? Well, if you do, you must really get on their nerves. Particle collector, arc devic acno radio transmitter, negative waves equalizer, ignition regulator, isotope fields indicator, and the golden chip. If we find them, we'll be able to start the ship and fly away. I have to admit though, they are very rare, last parts of their kind, but don't take it as some kind of pressure. <laughs> Exactly as I thought. This part is not the only one. Let's say we are in one part of the entity now. There has to be more of them. There seem to be different worlds, and this gate will allow us to cross between them. This gate, though, has to be activated from the other side. How can we get there?
Memory Block C1, Part 2. Initiating recording. My dear colleagues, Professor Himmel proposed an idea of how to solve the problem Earth faces. After extensive research and discussions with all of the planet's authorities, we are now entrusting the Professor with the following. Sufficient funds to create a team based on the Artificial Intelligence's plan. Sufficient funds to build a spacecraft, also based on the plan. Installing all records from Earth to the ship's core, which will be constructed by Professor Tersch. Sufficient funds to build an experimental black hole aggregator, according to the plan by Professor Himmel's artificial intelligence. I surely don't have to remind you, Professor Himmel, what you are about to do. I want to thank you for hearing me out. You can't even imagine what this means to me. I haven't finished. This mission will only be realized under one condition. End of recording. No, that's where the recording ends. We need to find the next part. I really don't remember any of that. Am I that stupid?